This is a documentary of the National Fisheries Resources Research Institute, NAFIDI, of the National Agricultural Research Organization, NARO. Its aim is to guide small-scale fishers, lake and riverside communities on how to adapt and cope with impacts of climate variability and change and related threats. This involves building capacity, identifying adaptation, policies, regulation, governance systems and increasing awareness. About 70% of the Ugandan population depend on rain-fed agriculture and natural resources which are vulnerable to climate variability and change. Given the fast human population growth rate of over 3% per annum, there is need to increase and sustain agriculture and natural resources production to sustain livelihoods. Fisheries is one of the economic activities contributing 2.5% to national GDP, 12.5% to agricultural GDP, employing about 1.2 million people earning over $150 million in exports and providing about 50% of protein supply. Uganda has many water bodies with high quantity and variety of fishes. Lake and riverside areas also have the highest human and livestock population and are important for crop production and watering animals. The variety and quantity of fishes and other organisms in the water bodies have been declining due to overexploitation, pollution, introduced species, Habitat degradation and climate variability and change. However, management of fisheries has concentrated on non climate factors. Global temperatures increased by about one degree Celsius, especially towards the end of the 20th century. And this is expected to affect natural resources and livelihoods. Climate variability and change contributes to reduction in water circulation, recycling of nutrients and oxygen, which affects production of plant and animal materials upon which fish feed, variety, quantities, and yield of fish and livelihoods. Fish is a cold-blooded animal whose life is affected by changes in temperature. Climate variability and change is expected to shift fish species and other organisms in water to opportunistic ones that can persist or adapt to changing conditions. Lakeside areas are also vulnerable to drought and floods caused by changes in rainfall associated with variability and change in climate. This documentary presents the results of a pilot study carried out on Lakeswomala in central Uganda and Kawe in northeastern Uganda.
fishery livelihoods around Laksuomala and Kawi have been fishing dominated by men, fish trading by women, and processing by men, women, and youth. We interacted with fishermen who have fished on the lake for a long time. They narrated that during the 1960s and early 1970s, the catches were high. Vehicles used to come to the lake and purchase pickups full of fish and take it to distant markets. But the situation has changed due to declining catches. Currently, when fishermen go out to the lake, they come back with only a few types and numbers of fish, just like this fisherman, indicating that the variety and quantity of fish have declined. This is Mr. Chintu, who buys fish from Katiko and Gombe landing sites on Lake Uomala. He processes it locally at home with the help of his daughter and wife. After smoking, the fish is either sold around his village or transported to the neighboring Mobende town. The amount processed is now limited due to decline in the quantity and variety of fish associated with climate variability and change and other stresses. Service providers at the landing sites, such as this lady, who prepares food for fishermen, have also been affected. As you can also see, this man is salvaging the remaining potatoes from his flooded garden. Satellite images show that Lake Uomala shrank to about one half its area between 1984 and 1995 and increased between 1999 and 2008. These gauges, which measure lake levels, were previously in water, but are now on land due to reduced water level as a result of prolonged drought. Nafiri, in collaboration with fishers, lakeside communities, and local leaders, has been identifying adaptation strategies to address the impacts of climate variability and other threats on their livelihoods. Some fishers and lakeside communities have adapted to changes in fisheries by reverting to emerging fisheries such as African catfish and lungfish, practicing irrigation during drought, diversifying to crops and livestock, Nafiri is assisting the fishers by determining appropriate methods for exploiting emerging fisheries like long lining, encouraging them to shift to non-fishery activities, and identifying and developing modalities for diversifying to other livelihoods. Innovative fishers and lakeside communities practice irrigation during drought. Nafidi is upscaling innovative irrigation systems by identifying and promoting more effective and affordable like the manual irrigation pump being demonstrated by the district fisheries officer of Mitiana. A similar pump has been given to communities around Lake Kawe. Nafidi has observed that some innovative fishermen have diversified to high value crops like pineapples, tomatoes, bitter berries locally known as entula, cabbages, oranges, 